Green Sleeves is an incredibly beautiful melody. And it's probably because of that it's been recycled. I first heard this song as What Child Is This? A Christmas song. And I later learned that actually the original song is Green Sleeves and they recycled that melody. I've heard many beautiful arrangements of Green Sleeves, but I made this particular arrangement to make it easy for you to both learn the song, but also as an exercise to learn aspects of playing fingerstyle guitar that you can use indefinitely and improve your actual fingerstyle playing. The basic structure of this arrangement is chords with melody. So I'm gonna start out by showing you the chords and then adding the melody to it as we go along. Of course, I'll break it down into the first part and second part as well. I want you to know too that if you find playing the chords and the melody together very difficult, you can always just stick with the bass line. And as we go along, I'll kind of point that out. You can play the bass line, the melody, and then fill in some of the chords. And in the same way, you can start with my simple arrangement. And if you want to embellish it and add to it, it's really the perfect foundation for that. So let's start off with that first half. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. First, I'm gonna show you the chords because each of these are built on chords and this will make it easier to remember. Then I'm gonna show you how the chords and the melody work together. We're gonna simplify slightly. Instead of adding a lot of movement, we'll just go with a simple, more like a bass note and the melody. Because then if you want, you can add some inner notes, which will create more movement and more flow, but it won't really change the song that much. Let's do this. Start with your A minor chord. We're gonna play a G chord, a very simple one, with just the third finger on the sixth string. I'll call this the sixth string and this the first string, and so on, second, third, and fourth, with the third finger. Then we'll go to a form of an F chord. If you're not familiar with this, I have first finger on the sixth string, first fret. I'm doing the second string, first fret, and then I've got the third string with a second fret right there. And then a folk style E chord. Those are the only chords. Now we'll break it down with melody with each of the chords. Listen to this first part. And then we're going on to the G. Let's just get that much. Now there's a pickup note right here. And then the measure actually starts right here with a pinch. This is a three, four rhythm. Dun, dun, two, two, one, two, three. So don't worry too much about that right now. Let's start with the melody note on the third string, second fret, then pinch the fifth and the second string. And I've got my first finger down that first fret of the second string. Pinky down on third fret, second string. Now we're going on to that first string. We're gonna pinch again, five and one. Pinky down, second fret on one. Open. Just that much again, here we go. Onto the G chord. Stretch the third finger over and we're gonna start with a pinch. Pinky down on third fret, second string. Open. Pinch on third string and sixth string. Second finger goes down, that's the second fret there. Open, second string. Okay, let's just play those two together, nice and slow. Now there's a kind of a pickup into the next chord, the F chord, it goes like this. That's the second finger, second fret, open second string, and then to the F chord. Let's just do that for a minute. G chord, put your second finger down on third string. It's a melody, open second, and then play the F chord, pinch. We're going on. Now I'm onto the third string. My third finger is covering the second fret there. Now I'm going down to the first fret with my second finger. Back to the second. Now I'm gonna pinch on six string and two. Going down to three and four. Pinch, six and four. Again, pinch, going down, and pinch. 
Now, let's put those four chords together with that simple melody and with the bass notes. Ready? Start with the pickup. Pinch. Pinky down. Pinch. Second fret. Open. To the G. Pinch. Open. And pinch. Second finger. Open. Second string. Pinch on the F. Third pinch. First fret. Back to second. And pinch. And pinch. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the second half of that first section. So kind of think of it, we're dividing the whole thing into four. First half, second half, and then each of those halves is chopped in half. This is the second half of the first section. And you're going to find that the first two chords and the melody are the same as the first part. It's those last two chords, or there's a little more movement in there. And I'll show you. Let's just get through those first two chords. You can see how they're the same. I'm going to start with A minor. And by the way, I'm not doing the pickup. You could actually, but I'm going to eliminate it. Same, not the G. Now here's where it's different. We'll go to an F chord. I'm pinching between the sixth and the second string. Open it up to the third string. E chord now, pinching six and three. Now here's a bit of a stretch, fourth fret on the fourth string. Then back to the third string, and then end with the A minor. Let me talk about that stretch just for a minute. First of all, you could practice it with just the E chord, that's the fourth fret on the fourth string. But you could also, if this is just too much, just play something different, I'll show you. Play this instead. See, it's just a little different, and it's probably not worth spending too much stress over getting that pinky. But if you want the challenge, or if you're ready for it, please, feel free. Let's do that second half one more time, starting from the F chord. That's the different part. So go ahead and form your F chord. We're going to pinch six and two. Now release the note on the second string. That's an open string. Over to the third string, pinch, six and three. Now to the E chord. And I'm pinching six and, is that three? Yeah, three again. Now that stretch, I'll go ahead and play the stretch. That's fourth fret, fourth string. Back to the third string, and then A minor. And I'm just gonna leave it as pinching twice for the A minor. I'll play that whole thing one more time, nice and slow, starting with the F chord. If you want the simplified version, we'll do the F chord. E, over to the, instead of the stretch, and then to the A minor. Okay, let me play that whole second half for you so you can hear how it all flows together. Again, the same as the first part. And here's the different part. And then finally, before we go on to the second half, I'm going to play that whole first half with everything that we've learned so far together. Nice and slow. Here it goes. Starting with the pickup on the A minor chord. Part. 
Okay, that's the first half of the tune. The next part goes into a major sound, starting with C major, and I'm deliberately holding off on the more movement. I'm going to show you after we add the second part how to add more notes to it. In other words, a finger picking pattern to add more movement. Totally optional. Okay, we're going on to the second part. I call it the major part because it starts with this C major chord, kind of brightens things up. I really like that. <laughs> now, as we go through this, I want you to watch out for the parts that are the same as the first part. It'll save you a lot of mental energy than trying to treat every single note as a different note because there really are repeating patterns. And that's what makes music enjoyable is kind of hearing those repeating patterns and the familiarity. So I'll start with the second part. Let's do the same thing. I'll do the first half. Starts with a C chord. And then G chord, right? Same form as we did in the last part. But by the way, that's exactly the same lick as we did in the first part. Now the F chord. Sounds familiar, right? And then E. So that's the part we're going to work on. We'll start with a C chord. And when I say a C chord, it's a very simple C chord. Third finger on the fifth string, third fret, and just first finger on the first fret of the second string. And again, that's the B string. I'm using the numbering system, one through six. So I'm just going to, again, just outline the chords with the bass note and the melody. In this case, I'm going to pinch between the five and one. And the pinky is going to hold down the third fret on one. Now here's the melody going down. I'm going to go down one fret, open, and to the G chord. I'm pinching six and two, same as we did in the first part. Open, and then pinch three and six. Now we've got the second, open, just that much. Let's do the C again, nice and slow. Pinky's holding down the third fret, first string, pinch. Open, third string. Now the F chord, pinch six and two. Third string, pinch, down one fret, back up, and to the E chord. And pinch. That's six and four. Again, same phrase as in the first part. The C is the different part. One more time. Going down, one fret, first string, G chord. Open, pinch with the third string, going up, F chord, pinch, down one fret, and back up, and pinch. So we're ready to go on to the next half of that, because again, it's very similar. We're going to combine that C chord with the same phrasing as the last part of that first part that we did, okay? Kind of <laughs> hard to explain that, huh? Anyway, you'll hear it. Listen. Second part. Sounds the same so far, right? Now here's what the difference. F chord. E chord. That stretch again, if you want. And then to the A minor, right? That's the same as the last part of that first section. So I just want you to realize you're not really learning the entire piece. You're learning about half of it and repeating parts. So now I'm going to play those two parts together. Again, very slow. Feel free to play along if you want. Listening to what I'm doing and then going and practicing it, that's perfect also. Here goes. C chord. Now I'm going down the melody. Pinch again. Open it up. Third string now. Second string, F chord. Third string, pinch. Down one fret. Enter that E. And pinch. Now we'll start again with a C chord. And G, pinch. And this goes into the F chord. 
now. E and A minor. Goes back into the A minor key. You could say it, it steps into the key of C for a little bit and then goes back into A minor. Okay, if you've followed me along so far, you're doing great. You've got a good outline of the piece playing with bass notes and the melody, and that's 90% of the song, actually. Now, you probably already realized, too, that in the beginning I played something with more notes. In other words, a kind of a moving pattern, a finger-picking pattern. Basically, what I did is I played exactly what I showed you, plus some finger-picking notes in between. Basically, this pattern. It's in the count of three. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three. So when I put those two things together, it sounds like this. And so on. So rather than go through every single chord and show you which notes I'm playing, I'm gonna encourage you to experiment a little. Start with, just get this basic finger picking pattern first. Starts on the bass note, bass, and sometimes you pinch, but it's the same finger picking pattern. And just see how you can fill in some of the notes. That's actually how I ended up arranging this. I just played the melody and the bass notes and then started adding some motion in between until I got something that, that seemed still simple but sounded good. And there's no absolute right or wrong. Experiment with the motion. Let me go through the piece so you can at least see what I'm doing and you can try and copy me or you can do something similar. That's the same melody that we just played. G chord. That's the first section we did. Let's do the second section. Sounds the same so far. G chord. Now here's where it changes to the F. That's the entire first half. Now the second half is with a C. know for now if I made you smile anywhere in this video please give me a thumbs up it's been a pleasure take your time be patient with yourself I know this is a, can be a bit of a long tune especially if you're a brand new beginner but it's beautiful and it's worth working on I hope to see you again soon in another video and in the comments below let me know how you doing let me know you're there bye for now 